This is known as that Nintendo polish. If I can't kill Goombies as a frog, is it really a Mario game? All right, welcome to Super Mario Odyssey! Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm Matt. I'm Austin. And to the audience, can you hear that? Can you hear the sound of better audio quality? Yeah, uh, we destroyed our entire computer. <laughs> and somehow that gave us better audio quality. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you had to you, let everyone know that we're really incompetent and managed to destroy our computer. I mean, it was really just a fuck up on the computer's part is why it died. Eh, yeah, I tried doing a very rudimentary fix to something, and it killed itself. That's not on us. <laughs> yeah. It's something I've done on my laptop literally hundreds of times. Also, Mario's already dead. That was a quick game. It was. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Mario. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> for the rest of the game, you play as a gay flamingo named Hank. <laughs> Damn it, with the donkey quotes now. I'm sorry. It's the perfect reference for this, though. It is the perfect reference. Mm -hmm. But also, thank God Mario doesn't exist in fall damage. Fuck. I think you I think you might have said that a little wrong. <laughs> just just a smidge. Mm hmm I messed that up real bad. Fall damage doesn't exist in Mario. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think about it, Mario also doesn't exist in fall damage either. That is true. If you look at fall damage, Mario's never there in the code. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Something I always forget. The original Halo has fall damage. Yeah, it does. Uh, don't don't they all have fall damage? Mm-mm. Uh, two through... Uh, two, three, four, five don't have fall damage. ODST, one, and reach do. Okay. So I believe it's just more or less been explained as a fault of the current Spartan deck. Okay, so that's why uh, it's why you take damage when you hit the ground. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a bit of fault in a lot of the Spartan tech, like, uh, you know, it sometimes overcompensates and, uh, kills the people wearing the Mjolnir armor. Yeah, that's no problem at all, though. That's why they're super suits. Super I soldiers? Yeah, I can't talk today, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe we picked a bad day for recording. It's fine. We do our best recording when I can't speak. <laughs> Is that true? I don't know. I like the episodes we do where I'm fucking up uh, all of the words I'm trying to say. Because mm. most of the time that just means I'm actually talking. That's fair. <laughs> I just still really want to see Bowser put on the tiny little tiara. <laughs> he but should. He should. Bow the internet has proven that Bowser makes an adorable princess. Yeah. Uh, maybe adorable's not the right word. Bowser's been best girl all along. Mm-hmm. It, it just took an internet meme to figure that out. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember there was this article that says Nintendo comes out and says Bowser, that's not happening. And it was 100% clickbait. It was just in the actual release of the game, only Peachette or only Toadette could use the Super Crown. And we're like, yeah, we knew that. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of the thing. The internet just kind of went wild. I don't think Nintendo's had enough time to... Uh really figure out a whole Bowsette thing. I'd say by now they've had enough time to talk about it. Yeah, but it's probably not gonna happen. I mean, definitely not after all the pictures of her that were drawn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think if we kept it tasteful for a day, maybe. <laughs> yeah, no. Rule... 34, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that exists. Also, I have a friend! Yeah! Known as the game mechanic of this game. Mm hmm. Or the gimmick? The gimmick. The gimmick? Uh, Mario game with a gimmick? That doesn't sound right. That's all of them. Yeah. The gimmicks make games, though. Mm hmm. It's, it's also known as a unique selling point. Yeah. If the difference between a unique selling point and a gimmick is if people like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like a lot of people call a lot of things Nintendo 
Nintendo does gimmicks even though they like them? Uh, that's not true, because people were just like, yeah, this is just a gimmick for the Switch. And I went, yeah, absolutely fucking lootly it is, but it's a fantastic gimmick. Mm -hmm. They're like, why can't it be a good gimmick? <laughs> like, the Wii. It's like, no, that was a lot worse, honestly. Honestly, though, because, uh, I've oh got cameras. Cameras are a thing. It is. At least you can move the camera, though. I've been playing a lot of Jeff's at radio. Yeah, before, you know, fixed or adjustable cameras were a thing. Yeah, and oh my lord, there's, after you beat the game, uh, if you talk to the members of the Gigi's in the garage, Yeah. Uh, they'll be, they're all say, if you don't use your eyes, you have to feel it. Mm -hmm. And that's the way that you can truly live on the streets, you know? Yeah. And I think they're just talking about the camera. Just like, you can't control it. Just, yeah. just live without it. Mm -hmm. You just have to learn how to operate without it, and it absolutely makes the game so much easier. But it also means you have to remember every square inch of the maps. <laughs> that's that's kind of what Jed said and a lot of the early platformers were all about. Also, are those birds wearing top hats? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything wearing a hat you can't control. So that's why everything wears hats in this. Uh, you can control some things with hats, you just gotta hit them twice. Mm, yeah, you yeah. just didn't hit the birds. Yeah. Although, uh, you get flying Goombies in this level anyway, so... That's true. Goombies! Also, you can't... Wait, these are too small for a hat. Yeah. That's the reason why you can't hit the, wear them. Because mm -hmm. Cappy can't change the size of his hat. Uh, except when you turn... Oh well, no, I guess uh, the T-Rex is still... Uh, it's still a Mario-sized hat on a T-Rex. Spoilers, yeah. there's a T-Rex! I think it was in the initial trailer for the game. I think that's allowed. No, it's spoiler territory. Can't can't talk about... Can't even let people know that uh, this game has Luigi in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. People are ridiculous about spoilers these days. Oh, like ice. Uh, I remember when Breath of the Wild came out. Yeah. Uh, I was watching a review that said no spoilers, and I don't know how there are spoilers in Breath of the Wild, by the way. Yeah, it's like, you know, if you just decide to speed run it, it's, it's only like a 30 minute game. Yeah. And if you decide not to break the game mechanics, it's like an hour. Yeah. But, uh, people were yelling at this guy for spoilers because he shows more than the default, uh, armor and the default weapons. Yeah. And that's just stupid, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot in that game. Yeah, and, oh, you get this sword? <laughs> okay, but how do I get it? What's it do? I don't know. It doesn't matter at all. By the way, I, I just love that cutscene where he gets into the frog because of both how confused Mario and the frog are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, what the hell? This isn't my Mario. Oh shit, I can't kill Goombies as a frog. Can you jump on him? I don't think so. I can try. Alright, give it a shot for me, Matt. It's a, it's a little... Oh, I can kill the Goombies as hell a frog. Hell yeah! That's ten out of ten. I wanna see. This is, this is the quality <laughs> gameplay that everyone wants. Mm -hmm. This is known as that Nintendo polish. If I can't kill Goombies as a frog, is it really a Mario game? I mean, I think this is the only Mario game where you can kill Goombies as a frog, so... Uh, no, there's a game where you get a frog costume, so eat that, Matt. <laughs> okay. I think it's the third one. Uh, I know... Well, okay, a frog costume is different than being an actual frog, though. Then why does he get all frog powers, huh? How come he can jump higher and <laughs> swim? You know, it's just, uh, it's just what the costume does, you know, does a... Why can a scuba diver breathe underwater? Because of the things he's wearing, not because he's suddenly a fish. Uh, you can't tell me that's not true. What are you, my doctor? <laughs> I'm not your doctor, but I am a doctor. No, you're not. You've never been to medical school. That's true, I've never been to medical school. I went to community college. Same. Mm -hmm. Community college isn't bad. No, it's, it's honestly good that it's affordable. Okay. <laughs> I Loading planes a little further back. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that, you know, I could, uh, get through that just fine. I'll just sort of go go the opposite way that the game wants me to go. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, also, one of the reasons why I think we had such a good time in community college is because of the course we took. Yeah. In the course we took, the people were very passionate about the course we were taking, so we had a lot of fun in it. But do you remember that math class we had to take? Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah. It was simple math. Like, it was basically pre-algebra, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't do a goddamn thing in that class because it was so boring. The guys just, he just had the assignment written on the board and he would say, this is what you'll cover today. He did one problem on the board and then sat and watched porn or something. I don't know. Yeah, and also, like, that class was during the same time as Anime Club, so we just kind of went to Anime Club instead of going to that class. Because uh, on our accounts for the thing, it had what the assignment was anyways. Yeah, and also, that class was at 7 at night. Yeah. My latest class was at 5. Dude, it's really weird playing this without moon gravity now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just so lost. Not lost, but just... Just, you're out of it now. Yeah. Also, I didn't know that there were little arrows telling you to jump on the boy's head. You know, he's the first boss. You gotta let people who've never played Mario know, like, you know, this is pretty much the first Mario game I've, like, true Mario game I've actually played. That's fair. I think that's kind of silly, actually. Well, I mean, I've played the original Mario. Who hasn't played the original Mario? No, I, I know what you're saying, but you've never just sat down and played Mario games. Yeah, I know. I think that's silly, because I dislike Mario games. Mm -hmm. And I've sat down and played more Mario games than you, and I think that's funny. Yeah, especially since, like, I really like this game, and I've always really wanted to play uh, Galaxy. But I didn't have all that many games on the Wii. Mm -hmm. I had Okami, uh, Radiant Dawn. <laughs> now that I think of it, I only had games that are nowadays kind of expensive and hard to find. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Must be rough. Must be rough. Oh, and Wii Sports. Uh, everyone had Wii Sports. That's true. I still think it's funny that's one of the best-selling games of all time. I think it's because, you know, it counts with being sold with the Wii. It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't? No. Okay, I thought that that was included. No, it's a free game that they had to release because people kept breaking their copies, and so many people broke and bought copies. It's one of the best-selling games of all time. Okay. I mean, it's it, it's a really good game. Uh, they really need to make, like, uh, Switch Sports or something. They do. And Nintendo Land was kind of like that for the Wii U. It just mm. only came with special editions of the Wii U. Yeah, because mine didn't come with uh, Nintendo Land, because Nintendo Land was fun. Yeah, and I guess one of the problems is that Wii Sports was fun by yourself, too. Mm -hmm. But Nintendo Land, you do have to kind of have people on the, with you in order to do anything mm -hmm. fun. So you don't have to. But man, it helps. Yeah, because there are some single player ones, but like uh, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, they had, there was all sorts of things on there. Yeah, there was. Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da -da. Realistically, did anyone play anything more than boxing, <laughs> uh, bowling, and tennis? Uh, I played baseball because I knew how to cheese it real quick because if you just really qu quickly flicked your wrist, mm -hmm. it would send the ball at like 2,000 miles per hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I was never able to figure out the fast serve in uh, tennis. Yeah. And it really annoyed me because I was at parents' friends. Mm -hmm. And they had like a six-year-old kid who was just like, Oh, I want to play Wii Tennis. I'm like, all right, I got you. Mm -hmm. I'll beat your ass, little kid. And this boy, every single time he would serve, he would do that fast pitch. Of, what are you doing? Tell me. And he's just like, yeah, this is how you do it. And he's just a little kid, so he doesn't know how to explain it. Yeah, I hated it. <laughs> like, how bad was it? Like... He did it every time, so I got used to it and was able to counter it still. Mm -hmm. But I wanted the ability to know how to do it, to change it up. Mm -hmm. Nah. No, this little kid will always have that on me. <laughs> Until, you know, we could... I think I still have a copy of uh, Wii Sports. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we play that on the channel somehow? 
Uh, I, <laughs> I think if we connect it to the U, uh, if we connect OBS to the U and stuff, uh, then, uh, we can, uh, fuck. <laughs> Trying to do a gamer moment while explaining, but if we connect OBS to the Wii U, we can record yeah. and shit. Alright. Didn't they even have to do any cool tricks. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really liked hanging out with those parents' friends. I got along with their kids. We didn't hang out after I closed line to their daughter, unfortunately. Yeah, that seems to put a damper on people's moods. Yeah, but in my defense, she kicked me in the balls in the spirit of tag. Okay. And she went to run past me, and I just clotheslined her. You just gotta do it to them, you know? Mm -hmm. And they're like, you can't hit girls off. So it's just like, she kicked me in the balls. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. Just the letter? Yes! And I, I disagreed. Mm -hmm. I've never felt so powerful with my ability to kill- Oh shit, I shouldn't have killed those chain chomps. I thought the dinosaur could delete those. Uh, can- I think he just can't fit in there. Yeah. But I think he can destroy those ones. Oh, yeah. try doing the bite attack on it. Maybe. Maybe that would work. Yeah, boy! Gotta follow the tutorial. I'm trying to remember, because I think there's an exploit where you can jump as the dinosaur and jump up there. Right there. Go back. Hmm? You see those blocks? Yeah? Break them, there's a trampoline underneath, and that's how you do it. Okay. I don't know. For me not caring about Mario's, a lot of people I watch gotcha. speedrun this game. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going off. You know, that was uh, it's all a part of the plan. Ah, oh, damn it. It's too big. Okay. I gotta, gotta erase him from existence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that would happen. Rip in peace. Rip in peace. They're always in my heart. I can't believe it's only been seven billion years already. <laughs> These Did guys these just keep coming. Yeah, I think you're supposed to run over him as a dino boy. Probably. Uh, if only there was still a dino boy. Yeah, rip in peace. You know, uh, I feel like I'm probably a lot worse at this game than literally anyone else who plays this game on YouTube. Well, that's because people who play this game literally don't play anything else. Yeah. Like, I think the only people still playing this game on YouTube are speedrunners. That's true. That's not how you do a backflip. I mean, it was, he just did it the wrong way. Okay, yeah, you're right there. Also, that's not how you jump. Yeah, why don't you just wall jump? You know, because uh, I think this is a space that's too great for wall drums, uh, at least to get any higher. That's fair. That's yeah. my bad. Yeah, you do need a backflip on. Well, no, you could probably double jump onto that, but mm -hmm. I feel like the backflip's a little quicker. You mean triple jump? Uh, it's only a little higher than the first one, uh, because the triple, because the way that he jumps is he jumps and then you can jump again slightly higher and then you can jump a third time slightly higher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a little peach, cat peach down there. Yeah, and you can get that for uh, a moon. Mm-hmm. It is a moon, okay. I didn't know if it was just coins or what. I think it's a moon at least. It's been a second since I played the game. It's been one week since you looked at me. I didn't Did realize we were the and said, I'm sorry. bare naked ladies. I'm always a bare naked lady, Matt. On the inside. Nope, not a gamer moment. <laughs> Mario's just dead. Yeah. I didn't know that you could actually swim down there. Yeah. Is that a waterfall with a secret behind it? Weird. Ah, oh, I haven't unlocked the paintings yet. Oh, uh, one of my favorite, like, onion articles is stupid shitty video game waterfall doesn't have any secrets behind it. That's great. Yeah. Also, why does the camera not work in the water? Uh, because a lot of games don't under have a really hard time telling if you are or aren't underwater. Yeah. Yeah. It's I've encountered that in a lot of games. It's probably because, like, uh, in a lot of games, when you're swimming, you're kind of not really either underwater or not. You're half and half. Yeah, so the camera just doesn't know where to be. Mm -hmm. Now, don't kill those boys. I'll kill them anyway. Not after what they've done. <laughs> they deserve this. <laughs> you know, it's, it's what's cool with the kids these days, right? Mm -hmm. Thanos was right. Thanos was right. Man, that's dated even now. Yeah. Like, even with Endgame coming out not too long ago, I feel like, uh, even though 
Endgame was such a big movie. It's People haven't been talking about it as long as they talked about Infinity War. I agree with that statement. Mm. Uh, I think it's just because there's less to say. Like, Thanos blew people's minds. Mm-hmm. And they... They didn't ruin his character. They just made him more of a, I'm an evil bad guy. Yeah, they made him classic Thanos to a degree. Mm-hmm. I mean, and his logic makes sense. Mm-hmm. Just like, all right, you guys are willing to break the laws of reality to win. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to deal with that business. Yeah, that's cheating. Mm -hmm. So I'll just kill you. Another fan theory that I like to have is that, uh, Thanos was also more evil because it was in his 2014 form that he was an endgame for the most part. Yeah. What? Huh? Where'd he go? He's gone. I killed him. <laughs> I deleted him. All right. That's sad. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just what Mario does anyways. Like, Mario has killed so many people, he doesn't even feel at this point. I mean, he's up there with Nathan Drake, I'd say. Yeah. I remember when that was just a point of controversy, people were just like, Nathan Drake's killed way too many people. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was kind of silly, because the only real difference is that he has a name in compared to all the other first-person shooters who killed armies worth of people. Mm-hmm. Because, uh... Well, I mean, even in the Call of Duty games, you play characters with names. I forget most of them. I know yeah. that there's a guy named Ghost that a lot of people care about. Not in Call of Duty Ghost, though. Okay. Did he come before or after Call of Duty Ghost? He came before, and still is not at all involved in Call of Duty Ghost. I believe he's in Black Ops? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, it's his little nickname. <laughs> I love Newton's Cradle. Yeah. The cats and the cradles and the Newton shit. I remember when I was in... Goodbye. Goodbye. When I was in uh, high school, there were people who just thought it was the funniest thing to call Newton's cradles Newton's balls. Because we were in high school and they had never thought of that before. I thought we learned about Newton's cradle in middle school. We did. Okay. <laughs> there were just kids who never put that together by the time high school came around. Okay. Because, like, uh... I don't know. I felt like I was going to say something. Oh, I thought I got it. I thought I got him. But I didn't. You knocked his hat off. Yeah. Get him. Get him. Kick the rock at her. <laughs> I, don't think it, I don't think it works like that. Just do it. It'll be fun. I love Beyblade. Light a ramp. I think Beyblade is one of the most... Yeah. Just clearly, we want to sell kids toys out of the entire we want to sell kids toys era of anime. Mm -hmm. I feel like, uh, I feel like, uh, Digimon doesn't get enough credit for actually telling good stories and stuff. Yeah, I think Digimon told better stories than Pokemon ever has. Pokemon's still a fun ride, though, but I think that's one of the things is that, uh, is that Digimon had ambition while... Well, Pokemon's pretty happy with its lot in life. <laughs> uh oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but Digimon Tamers, or the third season, mm -hmm. legitimately made me cry as a kid. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Like, have you ever seen Tamers? No, I have not. I've only seen the OG Digimon, which I have very vague memories of. And then, of course, Digimon Try. Uh, it's genuinely heartbreaking. Like, there are episodes that aired that don't come with the seasons if you buy them. Okay. But, uh, so now that we've finished this boss, how about we call this first episode of Super Mario Odyssey? Yeah, that sounds good. Alright. Bye! Bye.